Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 657. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 648 to 660. Hey, after a thousand, over a thousand videos uploaded to YouTube about how to use Excel, I'm finally going to have a book published, first book called Slain Excel Dragons. Not out for another month, but you can go check it out at Amazon and see it and pre-order it at a big discount if you want. Hey, we got a great trick here. We're going to look at the end of the month function and we're going to see uh, three great examples. Uh, one for invoicing, one for uh, uh, financial statements, and one for building quarters. Let's see if I can make this a little bit Now, oftentimes you, there's all sorts of different terms on invoices. Uh, 210 net 30, 25 end of month, all sorts of them. This particular um, term means 2% discount if you pay it within five days, otherwise end of the month. And there's lots of, there could be different meanings for this, but our meaning is going to be you got to go to the end of this month and then add 20 days. So the first trick is how do we get to the end of the month? And we don't want to type this in every time. We, this is a template, so we just want it to pop up automatically. We use the end of month function. The end of month function is great. It can calculate lots of different end of months. For us, we're going to have a start date, and we want the end of this month, so we type a 0. If we wanted the end of last month, minus 1. If we wanted the end of next month, we type 1. We'll see some examples of those in just a minute. So we have our end of month. It gives us the uh, 31st. And by the way, it knows leap year, so if you type 2 slash 5 slash 2008, it'll give you 229. Now we can simply um, add our 20 days, and our due date would be this plus this, right? And we'd build this in a little template. Another great use for end of month is you have your financial statements, and they're in Excel, and you have just a single cell that says this is the start date for this month, and then all your statements need to show at the top for the month ending, whatever, or on this particular day if it's a balance sheet. So we just use the end of month this comma zero. Now in earlier versions before 2007 you had to add this in in the analysis tool pack. Tools menu, add in, analysis tool pack. Further back you, you didn't have this at all so there were other ways to do this but you know now this is the year 2010 so we should all have 7 or 10 or something like that so that's just a, or add it in in earlier versions 2003 for example. Alright now what about for quarters? Uh, this is 1, 1, 2008. So we can simply, remember, we need to go three months. That's a quarter of a year, and it's the end of the month. So watch this. We go end of month, this. Now, if we wanted 1, 31, right, we'd put 0. If we wanted Control 1, I'm going to format that. Control 1 opens format cells as a date. F2, but that's not what I wanted though. And 1 would give us the end of next month, but what we want for the end of the quarter, of course, is 2, right? And it's 2, it seems like it would be 3, but that's because 0 is this month and then 1, 2, right? Now, what about uh, here? If we could actually just go like this, Or if for whatever reason you just wanted to a string, you you didn't have this here, then what you'd really, like you just wanted the beginning of the quarters, then you just do end of month, this, just like we did over there, plus one. Right, so then we can copy this down. And this one can be copied down also. So that was uh, one, two, three, four great uses for end of month. Totally awesome function. See you next trick.